Hi, welcome to Cupid's Tarot. I'm your girl Cupid, and today we will be doing the general reading for Aquarius. Y'all know who I'm talking about, my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? And this is a timeless reading, meaning this is for the next two weeks from the moment you watch this video. So it doesn't matter when you watch this video, it will still apply. This is also a general reading, meaning that not all messages will be for everybody. If it doesn't resonate for you, just let it fly. It's probably meant for somebody else, okay? So let's just jump right in right into the reading okay so we're gonna ask spirit what's coming in for our aquarius sun moon rising venus oh knight of cups one card at a time, please. Grab the devil, okay? the ace of pentacles mm. and the world okay so i feel like aquarius you are coming out of a difficult situation okay and this could be a matter of relationships but with this knight of pentacle i mean knight of cups i feel like you are trying um you or maybe you're dealing with somebody else but somebody's trying to come out of a very restrictive situation um, this could be a matter of the heart, but this could be anything that um, affects your emotional fulfillment. With this Ace of Pentacles here, someone's trying to reestablish after previously being held back by a lot of things with the Devil card. Um, chained, restrict, held back. Um, whatever word best, you know, resonates with you. There was something here that um, I feel like some of you are moving out of and in terms of the ace of pentacles i do see you moving into a place that is um very stable whether it's financial maybe it's a relationship but a, moving into a place that's more stable than it was in the past more fulfilling um a new beginning instability with the world card at the bottom of the deck i am seeing rebirth um and fulfillment Let's get some more cards, okay, to clarify. Eight of Swords. The Fool. Two of Swords. Okay, so lots of restrictions going on, okay? Lots of restrictions with this Devil and the Eight of Swords. I don't know why you're restricted. Are you stuck in a relationship that you don't want to be in? Are you, um, hmm. With this Knight of Cups, this could be a relationship you don't want to be in, all right? Um, for whatever reason. It could be any type of relationship. But there's some obligations, I feel like, um, something you feel obligated to in terms of this relationship that's keeping you stuck. And with the Knight of Cups, you want to move out of it. You want to move towards what really does fulfill you. Um, with the Fool and the Two of Swords, I do see you being able to move out of this into a new beginning, into a nice fresh start, but it's going to require you 
to make a decision. Um, but with this Two of Swords, this is going to be a hard... <laughs> but the Two of Swords, this is going to be a hard decision. This is going to be a decision that challenges you in some way. Um, and it might make you feel even more stuck, right? Like when this, when this new beginning um, presents itself... It's going to present itself as a challenge, as this, as some type of a movable force, or it's going to put you in this position where you feel stuck, where you feel like you can't, you won't know what to do. But I see you um, coming out on top in general with this, the world and the star card, right? Coming out on top, making the decision that works best for you, making the decision that leads you towards fulfillment and healing, right? Rebirth. So let's get some more cards for my Aquarius. King of Pentacles. The Magician. So listen, Aquarius, I feel like a lot of people rely on you or maybe one specific person relies on you. This could be a relationship of any type, but I do feel like it is a relationship with another person. It could be from um, family, friends, platonic, romantic, doesn't matter. Somebody relies on you a lot with this King of Pentacles energy. You are a stable force. You could be providing financially or you could just be that strong um, support system for someone. And this could be why you feel very restricted because you feel obligated to this situation. Even though in your energy, your current energy, you have the Knight of Cups and you wanna move forward towards something that is mo more emotionally fulfilling for you. With the Magician card here, I feel like you will be stepping into this place where you'll be manifesting this new beginning. You will be taking an active role in your future, you will be moving out of this, even though, like I said, um, whatever may present itself, it may present itself as a really tough decision. But I see you um, being very much in your power and very much in this understanding that only you have the power to, um, to direct your life. With this King of Wands energy, right? I see you moving from the King of Pentacles into this King of Wands. So instead of being, you're gonna you're gonna really diverge and and come out of this energy of being this support system for other people, being this really stable force, um, providing something um, something to these people, and you're gonna move into a more passionate position where you are now going towards your own passions where you put yourself first um, and your needs and desires. You're going to start putting yourself first here with this King of Wands. You could be a masculine energy. Um, you could be, I mean, a masculine person in general. If not, you know, it doesn't matter. It can resonate whether you're a man, woman, masculine, feminine, you know, all the, all the different parts of the spectrum. But I do see, like I said, coming out of this energy of of um, providing for others and supporting others and to supporting yourself, going towards what makes you happy, right? With this fool and the magician, like I really see you um, taking an active role in the direction your life goes. Um, even though you felt stuck before and even though this new opportunity, um, like, I, like I said before, I feel like this new opportunity 
is going to it's like that saying where things are harder before they get better like things get harder before they start to lighten up so it's like when this new opportunity comes in it may come in kind of um, stressful it may make you feel a bit agitated a bit um, stuck confused you know because it is requiring you to move out of your comfort zone it's good it's requiring you to think past the way you've been thinking before so it's going to come in and feel like another obstacle with this two of swords a really hard decision but you're going to choose um, to put yourself for first and to go towards what it is that you want at the bottom of the deck you have the six of swords so you're going to be moving um, from this past difficulty into a place of healing and rebirth like I said um, out of these you know wavy waters into calmer waters right leaving the past difficulties behind and this can mean different things to different people depending on what your situation may be but it's like once you move past this thing into the future into this new beginning that's when you're really going to start to blossom into the person that you want to be okay hmm trying to see if there's anything else I see before we move on to our advice from the Oracle decks. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go into the Oracle decks. So all the cards I'm using will be in the description box below. We're going to get one card from the Pear Tree Oracle deck, okay? dawn okay dawn is all about there being a new day a new beginning a new light new opportunities to conquer new things let's read what it says in the book okay so we make sure i'm not missing anything okay it says a brightness a beginning options choice this is a new day and all is available to you and all of its promising if overwhelming splendor you heard what i said there if overwhelming this new day will be overwhelming and all of its promising splendor it will overwhelm you it will challenge you okay and it's meant to challenge you it's meant to bring you out of this comfort zone it's meant to bring you into a new way of thinking right whatever you were doing before has restricted you greatly i mean with the ace eight of swords and the devil to me those are the most restricting cards like of course so much more restricting than the two of swords right this is like you are stuck 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 like for real for real like you need some help you don't know what to do you don't know what like if from your perspective all options have have been eliminated okay but this new dawn your advice is to embrace this new beginning and and embrace that it will be difficult right when we step into something new the, um, there is a level of adjustment that happens right it's not always going to be this flawless seamless fit sometimes it takes adjusting sometimes it requires us to question the the ways we're doing things before so that's what i'm seeing with this card with the dawn we're going to get one card from the gaia oracle deck Enchanted Forest, okay? It says mystery, magic, excitement. Can you guys see it? Okay. Mm. Mystery, magic, excitement. Right off the rip, I feel like this card is about embracing the unknown of the future, okay? When you go into an Enchanted Forest, like, there's always going to be things that you don't expect, like Alice in Wonderland or Peter Pan 
there's going to be so many things that you just won't expect to encounter but embrace that excitement that mystery of the unknown um and life is all about unknowns i am gonna look in the book really quick because i actually don't haven't pulled this card very often so i'll read it to you guys okay one minute life seems rather mundane and boring then all of a sudden someone or something sweeps into your world like a breath of fresh air all of a sudden you feel as though you're on a magical mystery tour with a renewed sense of passion and excitement for life and it doesn't matter that you have no real idea where this is all leading you in fact not knowing only creates more excitement life is now full of romance and seemingly endless creative possibilities embrace all that comes your way enjoy the journey and don't be in a hurry to settle things down or draw conclusions allow things to unfold in their own way and time what unravels will bring you lasting joy and a deep sense of fulfillment that's all i said right this is about embracing the unknown of the future right it's going to be difficult whatever this is it's going to it's going to ask a lot of you, uh, maybe not a lot, but it is going to ask you to step out of old ways of thinking, step out of old patterns, all right? And that's why it's going to make you feel even more stuck, even though you already feel stuck. But Spirit is telling you that the future is promising. It's unknown, but it's promising, okay? And really, life is all about the journey, all right? Embrace this dawn. Embrace the new day. Now we're going to get one card from my Angel Light Code Oracle deck. Beautiful cards. They're all gold on the side. All cards I'm using will be in the description box below. Oh, and I, don't, I haven't said this to any other group, but excuse my nails. You know what I'm saying? I know other tarot readers, they wear acrylics. I don't wear acrylics because I am a painter. So they don't really... Um, align with my lifestyle they're a bit of a hassle so if that bothers you I'm so sorry but not really okay <laughs> so one card for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus what do they need to know for the next two weeks spirit just one card okay we got an angelic light body this is a very beautiful card omg this is beautiful you see why it's my favorite deck right it's so beautiful so let me read what it says in the book for you all Okay, so here it says, the first level is acknowledgement of quickening. To know the essence of self, connected by the thread of life to our golden center. Being in this space requires awareness to the subtleties of source. The acknowledgement that we are a source spark. Being in this space brings about a knowing of being in the right place at the right time. Acknowledgement that we must also do our part and a knowing of our greatest potential. Self-responsibility and self-acknowledgement. It also comes with an ability to see the synchronicity showing us the way forward. Golden thread, DNA spiral with coding throughout, unique to each individual. 
Mm. I really feel like this is about you awakening to your journey, your true journey, all right? And I feel like that's why you feel so stuck. You're stuck in these obligations that haven't really been serving you and aren't really for you to fulfill in the first place. And the world is all about new rebirth, stepping into a new cycle, stepping into, you know, a new, like a great new beginning. It's, you know, it's the last card. I mean, you have the first card in the Major Arcana and the last card in the Major Arcana. So I really feel like this is about you awakening to your path, okay? And I feel like that's why it's going to present itself as this difficult decision because it's going to be a big step for you, a big step for your development, both um, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, all around a, a big step in learning who you are and what it is you stand for and what it is that you really want out of life. Um, so many cards here about moving into a new phase of yourself and of your understanding. But the star here, which is the Aquarius card to me, it's like, you're stepping into who you really are, okay? Who you really are and what you really want. So that's all I have for Aquarius. You guys have a wonderful um, day. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you resonate at all with this video, leave a comment. I love reading comments, all right? And if you would like to be notified whenever I post a new video, feel free to click that subscribe button and that notification bell, okay? And if you would like to receive a private reading, all information for that is in the description box below, as well as my Instagram, my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, my Venmo, and all the cards I've used, all right? So you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, Aquarius.